Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we will be talking about the interquartile range. What is it and how do you find it? Well, given any set of data, we have a first quartile, we can find a first quartile and a third quartile of that data. The interquartile range of the data is just the difference between the two, subtracting quartile one from quartile three. So that's um, the third quartile minus the first quartile. Of course, you could do it the other order too, you just have to take the absolute value of that number. So that's what the inner quartile range is. You just subtract, it's just the difference between the first and third quartiles, the positive or absolute difference, you could put it that way. So let's look at an actual example, how to find this interquartile range, whoops, and uh, that should do it. So let's suppose we have a hot dog eating contest. Contestants have five minutes to eat as many hot dogs as they can, and we've got a set of data from this hot dog eating contest. So here we have eight data points on um, the amount of hot dogs that eight different people were able to consume in the five minutes of the contest. So first things first, we're going to put this data in order from least to greatest. You could also put it in order from greatest to least, but I think least to greatest is usually a little more intuitive, so that's what we'll do. All right, now we've ordered the data from least to greatest. Now we want to split the data basically in half. So we have 50% to the left of our split and 50% to the right of our split. So you do this basically by finding the median. So you can find the median um, of a small set of data, you know, just by counting in from the endpoints. So you go in one, two, three, and then you see we've got two numbers here in the middle. So we'll put our split between the two numbers in the middle. If we had an odd number of data, let's say we had another four here, we would just split the data there. So we'd have these numbers down here and these numbers up here. And then this four would just, the extra four that we're pretending would be here, we would just eliminate. And we're only gonna be concerned with these two halves of the data um, for finding the interquartile range. So now to find the first quartile, of course, we just need to find the median of this lower half of data go in one, go in two, the median of this lower half of data is halfway between one and three, so it's two, that's the first quartile. And then over here, go in one, go in two, the uh, third quartile is halfway between six and seven because that's the median of the upper half of data. So the third quartile is equal to 6.5. So the interquartile range is 6.5, whoops, let me slide this up a little bit. That's the third quartile minus two, the first quartile, as you can see, and that's equal to 4.5, so our interquartile range for this hot dog eating contest is 4.5. And that's all there is to it. That is how you find the interquartile range of a set of data. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you understand how to find the interquartile range, and of course, how to find the first and third quartiles of a set of data. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to